Hello everyone, this is Foxy Papa Smurf for FPS Gamer for short, and today we are taking a look at a PC case that I think does a great job of bringing some high-end features down to a mid-range budget. Let's take a look. When it comes to computer components, the custom PC case market seems to be the most saturated. Case manufacturers have had to continually innovate and adapt in order to stay current with consistently changing consumer trends in order to stay competitive. While the sheer number of options out there may be daunting to first-time PC builders, there are a number of benefits to having so many choices. Many of the standout features found on high-end cases very quickly make their way down to the budget-friendly end of the market, sometimes in just a matter of months. Although there is still a steep admission price for those wanting to enter into the land of the premium PC case, where the streets are paved with tempered glass and lit with RGB lighting, if you are still in the market for an attractive PC case with a lot of functionality, and you're doing it on a budget, there are a lot of options out there. Enter the Corsair Carbide Spec Alpha. If the name is any indication, this aggressive PC case is poised to bring an impressive feature set to the populous mid-range, mid-tower market. With its two-faced design, the Spec Alpha does a great job of straddling the line between hardcore gamer and refined enthusiast. While appearances are strictly a subjective category, there's no question that there's been a growing trend towards simple, sleek, and minimalistic design. The two-toned color scheme comes in a variety of varieties, including red on white, black on black, yellow on black, and blue on white, and many others. The angular feet on the bottom of the case add to the aggressive angular styling while making it more carpet friendly and flood resistant. The front facing I.O. includes all the essentials. Power on off, reset, headphone and microphone jack, two USB 3.0 ports, and interestingly a three speed fan controller in order to regulate the three included fans. More on that in a moment. Concluding our tour of the exterior are the interestingly shaped side panels. While the side profile of this case would be perfectly at home on the front page of Our Bulges, don't go there, they exist for a practical purpose. No doubt if you've ever built a PC, you can sympathize with the frustration of getting a side panel to close over your fine cable management work. Well this <coughs> bulge gives the builder an extra couple of millimeters to use without expanding the overall footprint of the case. While the windowed side panel is most certainly also protruding in an effort to match the other side, I don't feel I'm alone in saying that a more traditional flat side panel would have been preferred here. Cracking open the case reveals the first of many unexpected surprises. The four thumb screws used to hold the side panels are all retained in the panel itself. Neither the Fantex N3 Pro M or the Evolve Micro ATX case I reviewed last year had this feature. The included hardware is found in several small plastic bags, a stark difference between the miniature tool set I found in recent cases. The fans I mentioned previously are pre-installed 120mm fans, with two in the front and one at the rear. Additionally, the two front-facing fans are lit with LEDs to complement the exterior color of the case. In this case, red. The case supports up to four 2.5-inch drives and three 3.5-inch drives. While the drive cage is removable in order to make room for a 240mm radiator in the front of the case, that does limit your drive options to just two 2.5-inch drives. The power supply shroud hiding the power supply and drive cages uh, was an interesting omission, but that just means cable management will need to be more handily maintained. Simply stuffing extra cable alongside the power supply will leave it exposed through the side panel window. That extra cable management work will be made easy, however, by the substantial amount of room behind the motherboard and generous number of cable tie locations. While there are many aspects of the case that I like, it does still have a couple faults. The white paint on the metal and plastic panels matches well enough, but a direct light source will reveal that the metal panels are far more reflective than the plastic ones. The overall build quality is not really up to par with recent cases that I've reviewed, but considering the last case by Fantex that I had on my table was more than twice as much, it's understandable. Inconsistent panel gaps were a small cause for concern. Some panels seem to fit together as if they were made of one single piece, while others have visible space between them. The dust filter under the PSU is just one piece of mesh. No magnets or plastic frame for easy installation and removal. Just a couple of tabs and one single sheet of material. 
While extremely cheap feeling and time consuming to remove, this application is every bit as effective at blocking dust as any other filter on the market. So in the name of cost cutting, I'd say it's worth it. Thanks to cases like this one, it is now easier than ever to get a full featured PC case without breaking the bank. Although the MSRP for this case is set firmly at $79, I have personally seen it sell for as little as $59. For those in the market for a unique looking machine with features found on cases far above its asking price, I would highly recommend the Corsair Carbide Spec Alpha. Well, thank you so much for checking out this review. You can find a link to this case down in the description below if you're interested in buying it for yourself. Also, if you have comments on a recent case that you've personally had that was able to deliver at a low price point, I'd love to hear about it and you might see it in a future review. So go ahead and like this video if you enjoyed it and found it informative. And also don't forget to subscribe so you know when my newest video drops. I'll see you guys in the next one.